Hi and welcome to the NERPG New Scene Wizard tutorial. In this tutorial video I will be demonstrating how to use the New Scene Wizard to add the Low Poly Environment Nature Pack free asset from the Unity Asset Store as a new scene in my game. If you don't already have a copy of NERPG, you can pick one up from nerpg.org slash downloads as a free Unity package or from GitHub as a complete Unity project that you can import. For the setup for this game, I have already installed the Ultimate Fantasy Creator Lite free asset pack using the NERPG New Game Wizard, and there's a tutorial on YouTube that I will link in the description that you can follow along with if you want to have the same setup as I have. I will also link the other two assets as well in the video description. Let's go ahead and get started. For this demo, I'm using NERPG version 0.14.1 alpha. I have my first level open, which is this bandit camp, and now I'm going to demonstrate how to add the next level. The scene that I want to use is found here in the Polytope Studio directory, which I have already imported, and it is this environment free scene. So I will go to Tools, NERPG, Wizard, New Scene Wizard, and I will pull in the Environment Free Scene. First I have to make sure I click on Copy Existing Scene. If I don't click Copy Existing Scene, it's just going to create a, a blank template scene for me, but I want to use this one. So I will drag it in here. I'm going to call this scene the Forest Scene. and in this case, it's actually telling me that I have a scene with the name Forest that already exists. And that's actually because when I was doing this beforehand and just testing to make sure it worked, it added it to the build settings. So there's two ways we can get around that. If you get that error message, you can just go into the build setting, and if you have any old deleted scenes, you can just remove them, and the error message will go away. The other way is we could call it like low poly forest, for example, that would also remove the issue. I'll select an ambient sound, and in this case, I think I want the spring birds, so I have some birds chirping in the background. And for the new scene music, I like the Odo River Flows, which is just a really nice sounding asset that comes with the Unity package. That's all I need to do. I can go ahead and click on Create. And now it's created the new scene for me. As well as a couple of assets. So I'll open up the folder that I have my game in. It's under Bandit Game here. And you can see that it has created two audio profiles for me, linking to the spring birds for the ambient sound and to the Odo River flows for the music. It's also set up a scene node for me, and this is the low poly forest scene node, which links to both of those audio profiles. In the prefab folder, it's also set up a portal for me, and you can see the low poly forest stone portal. To ensure that I can actually use this scene, there is a small change that I need to make to it. First, you can see that it's got a player here and a camera in there. If we were to leave this in the scene, we would get some error messages. So let's go ahead and just delete the player and the camera because any RPG comes with its own player and its own camera. Next, I want to make sure that I spawn in the correct spot. So what I'm going to do is just middle click on the ground here just to sort of center this. I'm going to search for default spawn location. I can drag this straight in or I can either drag it just into the scene anywhere and if I hit Control alt f on my keyboard then it's going to put it wherever I last middle clicked. 
and next I'm just going to rotate this because whatever the forward direction of this object is, is the direction my character will be facing, and I want my character to be facing looking over that bridge there. Now I'm going to save the level, and what I want to do is I actually want to add a portal back to the bandit camp, so I'm going to go into the prefab portal folder here, and grab the bandit camp stone portal and just stick it behind the character here so that he can go back to the first level. Let's save that and then open up the scenes folder and open up the bandit camp folder and then add a portal so that we can actually get out to the forest. I'll pull the low poly forest stone portal into the level here. And there's lots of different places that you can stick portals that make sense. Um, in this case, you know, we could just leave a portal in the middle of nowhere, but I will show you something else that makes a little more sense. Um, sometimes I like to stick these in doorways or at the entrances to caves or zone boundaries. In this case though, Let's actually just disable the stone door frame and then take the portal and stretch it a little bit. So I'm going to just scale this up and maybe scale it out a little more on the x axis to about 4 so that it covers this gate. And now basically what will happen is when my character walks out here, he's going to walk through the gate and basically appear in the forest. For the magic wall, we can adjust this a little bit. Um, these things have a 3D start size of 3. I can adjust that up to 6 to make them just a little bit taller. Um, you know, I can also set the max number of particles up to like 5,000 just so that there's more of them. I can adjust the radius outwards a little bit. It's only 1.5 by default. You could see I could make it skinnier or larger if I wanted. And I think I'm also going to move this downwards a little bit so that these particles are more sort of on the ground. And that looks pretty good. Now when I walk up to this gate here and walk out, then I'm going to be walking instead of into this boring forest, into the other forest. That looks pretty good, so let's go ahead and press play and see if we can properly load ourselves back and forth between the scenes. I'm going to start a new game. My character appears in the bandit camp here. And when I run over towards the gate here, you can see that when I mouse over it, it says travel to low poly forest. We've got this sort of shimmery effect here. And now I come over into the forest. You can hopefully hear the background music. You can hopefully hear the birds chirping as well. And I can run around and explore this level. It's a pretty nice level, I like it. A lot of um, environment packs on Unity come with these cool looking demo scenes. And these are great because, you know, if you suck at level design like I do, then it's basically a complete level ready to go. We can run back through the portal here and travel back to the bandit camp as well. And now we're back in the bandit camp. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the NERPG YouTube channel, 
or leave a comment in the description letting me know what other tutorials you'd like to see in the future and I will get started on making those. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.